Yo guys, it's Hashman Boxing, I'm back with another video. So, um, I watched the Felix Videjo versus Ray Rojas, I think his name was. Um, it was a it was a comeback fight after, I think, um, his absence since April last year. So, he's been out of the ring inactive for more than 10 months. So, it's a, it's a good step to get back in the ring and uh, shake some uh, cobwebs and ring rust off. Um, as you guys might know, he left Ricky Marquez, his manager and his uh, former coach. And he's gone with Ismail Salas, who's based in um, Vegas. So it's a good move. I saw them training. Um, maybe um, this this is the the kickstart of uh, Felix Videjo's career again. Um, he's more focused. He's moved to Vegas now. He's left um, his, his place in uh, Puerto Rico. And hopefully he can kick on with his career. So let's talk about um, his performance. You, um, in the beginning, uh, Vadejo wasn't moving his head. He was. He wasn't looking. He wasn't letting his punches flow. He was a bit um, stiff. Uh, for, um, wasn't wasn't letting his hands go as 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 he usually does. One thing I saw um, apparent from the first couple of rounds where he wasn't bouncing on his toes what he used to do. So um, I'm not sure with his mobility. Um, might might it might not be. Might not have the legs that he once has had, but we'll see. Um, he's he established the jab later on the fight. Um, during the mid mid to, to late uh, part of the fight, he was jabbing well. He was jabbing with his body. Um, Rojas kept coming forward, tough guy, but he didn't really have any skill or power to to derail um, Felix Vadejo. He landed a couple of right hands, but I didn't I didn't really think they phased Vadejo. Um, he had a little bit of bloody nose and a bit of marking, a laceration or or a bit of swelling uh, underneath his eye, which uh, Vadejo had. So um, that's been happening uh, uh, quite a few times since his fights after the motorcycle accident. I think his face um, hasn't healed and I think that's probably going to be permanent for him. So we'll see. Um, it was a good performance overall. I think um, he boxed well. He used the jab well. He moved his head. He was side. He moved side to side. He was moving. Uh, he, uh, he was using more of movement than he usually has, but he, his his leg, his legs. He wasn't using his leg, uh, legs, ab uh, above in the fight because he didn't really have to go looking for Rojas. Rojas came there and he was staying in the center of the ring, but I was kind of a little bit disappointed with Dejo as he couldn't stop Rojas. Rojas was being stopped by, uh, Vences, uh, before. So I thought uh, Vadejo would come and make a statement, but. Um, that's the performance we got tonight from um, El Diamante Vadejo. Hopefully he improves, gets back to his winning ways and keeps keeps progressing. This is the first fight of uh, Isma Salas. I saw a bit of improvement, but it happened uh, later on the fight. The last couple of rounds, he started to really adjust and, and got, got his flow. But I think um, hopefully um, one or two more um, fights to get himself back, back to normal and... And that's it, man. He's 26 years old. A lot of uh, people think he will become a world champion. So let's see. Put him in the deep end after a couple of fights and see what he can, what he's made of. Because this is the stage of his career where a lot of people have said his career might be over. Um, that they've lost faith in him. But we'll see. I still have faith in him. I think he can do something. But he's got to perform better than that, and hopefully he does. So let me know what you guys think about his performance. Where do you think Vadejo will go next? What opponents should he fight? Like, comment, share and subscribe. It's Hashman. Peace.